Hey guys, it's Kira, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make your own emoji cursor in under five minutes. So, the first thing you want to do is find your emoji. Now, you can either go to Google and type in the emoji you want and type in transparent after that because that will make it way easier on you and then you won't have to go in and make it transparent later on. So, I usually go to Emojipedia.org because I feel that it's way easier than just going to Google because these are already transparent and they're right there. Now, Emojipedia has a variety of different emojis and all you have to do to find the emoji you want is just search Emojipedia. But, since I'm lazy, I'm just going to click on this first thing that I see and it's this dog face emoji. So, once you click that, if you're on Emojipedia, they will show you a whole bunch of different forms of that emoji for Android, Apple, Google, Microsoft, etc. So, I usually go for the Apple because it looks better to me. So, once you find the form that you want, you just want to go ahead and right click on that. And go to Save As and save this wherever you save your files or downloads at. Once you do that, you want to go to CursorCC.com. Um, I'm going to remind you that all of these links will be down below in the description so it will be easier for you to find them. So once you get here, you want to go to Import Image. Once I get here, I usually just drag the file that I just downloaded into Choose File, or you can just go in and find the file through all your other files, but I'm really lazy so I just do that. Once I do that, I go to upload. Now, it's really, really easy from there. Some people probably don't want to change it. They just probably want it like the dog. And here is where you can preview what your emoji will look like when you use it. Now, for me, I usually go to the top left-hand corner and add a triangular shape in black. Just so this can, like, be the mouse pointer. So, I usually just go up here and do this. And I think I kind of made this too big. Yeah, I made it way too big. So if you make any mistakes, you can just go to transparent and you can just kind of make them transparent. So that's what I like to do so I know where the pointer exactly is. And once I do this, I go down and preview the cursor. And I just download the cursor. Now, once I get to this, I usually go to my mouse settings, and I go to pointers, and then I change my pointer. Now, you usually can find the cursor that you just made in your download section. So, it will probably be labeled cursor and whatever number cursor you made. So, mine is labeled cursor 23 because I've made a lot of different cursors before this. Now, you can actually go in and choose which I think you... I think you can go in and change the name to your cursor, but I just keep it as this because I feel like it's easier and I can always find the files. And then I just go to open and then I press apply. And there you have it. You just made a cursor in under five minutes. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video and it helped you, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And yeah, if you want more videos like this, just comment below. Thank you for watching. Bye. So randomly picked winner and the winner is Kaki. So congratulations to Kaki and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and send them their credit now. Now as I said my account is closed on my four brand account to send these